Right, so this video will go through how to take the existing simulation that we did on the front wing, the tutorial that we did, and um, produce vector scenes and scalar scenes so that we can visualize the results. So first thing we need to do is open up the tutorial that we did uh, last week. And uh, once you open it up, you should have something similar to this. Um, now what we want to do is create um, some new scenes under this scenes folder here on the tree on the left hand side. Um, but hang on, firstly before we do that we should change the um, the view of this meshing because this is what we're going to be um, fiddling around with to create these vector scalar scenes later on. So firstly go to projection mode and change it to parallel and now um, what we want to do is create a plane of which we can project um, a 2D scalar scene onto, so be it pressures, velocities, um, anything you like really, um, but within constraints of the functions that Star Citizen provides. So we need to create this plane, and to do that we go up to here and we click on this FX button, and you click at one point and then drag this um, line around until we create uh, a straight line, and this defines the plane, then we click again, and um, it comes up with this message, um, new geometry display, OK. And you'll see it says finished here, and this new plane has been created under um, derived parts. And it's this uh, plane here. If we move the uh, mesh scene, we can see it. Um, so what we're going to do is rename this, um, just for convenience, um, call it you know, real plane. Click enter, and uh, now we can uh, project um, any scalar scene we want onto this plane. So to do this, we have to firstly create a new scene. Um, first, we're going to do scalars. So right-click on scene, new scene, scalar. Let's create a new scene here, um, and we can call this again maybe wheel scene. Click enter. Um, and then let's change this view to parallel and now we need to fiddle around with the scene and um, maybe firstly you select what function we want to do so you right click on the select function look up with this drop down box with this list of different scalar functions um, so let's say we want to look at pressures so you go to static pressure and click that Notice the units are in pascals. And then we open up the scene that we've just created and go to displays, um, scale of one, open that, and click on this parts folder. And what we want to do is we want to um, assign the drive part we made up here to this scene. So we'll just click on parts, go to drive parts, click on wheel, and click OK. And notice that the color bar populates. Um, we can't see anything because we're looking down on it, but if we press S on the keyboard, we should go to the side view, press it again, and we flip it around, and now we can zoom in, and we can see um, these, these pressures um, projected onto this plane. Um, you'll notice that um, it's, it's quite coarse in terms of how it's displaying it. Um, we can correct this by going to the scalar 1 and um, changing this from filled to maybe smooth blended um, we can do some other things um, smooth filled with lines personal preference really um, what else can we do so we can also change um, point sizes how the colour um, moves between um, how the solution is, de is um, displayed and then if we put a colour bar we can actually add more colour so we get a broader spread spread of um, a broader range of pressures and we can change this from 32 to 256 and it makes, the, it, makes it a lot more smoother um, and yeah that's, that's one of the main things as I said earlier you can change it from static pressure to um, velocities, make sure you do magnitude. Um, and there we go. Alright, so that's say the scenes.
Now to do vector scenes, we do pretty much exactly the same thing apart from the scene we create is vectors. So it goes a vector, which new scene, and call it maybe will. Vector. Again, just go down to uh, displays, vectors, parts, open up the part, get to drive part, wheel plane, okay. Again, you'll see this has popped up, um, change the display to parallel, click side, zoom in. Now you'll see initially this is a bit of a mess, so what we need to do is change the size of these arrows. So that we get to glyph, um, and then we go to relative length, and we change its percentage, maybe change to 1, and you'll see that it reduces it. So let's try 1.3. A bit more. Um, here we can get a lot more information about velocity but also the direction of which the vectors are in. Um, you'll notice that the conditions we set up on the wheel, rotating wheel, is um, correct if we zoom in on the wheels and you can see that there's these arrows going in counterclockwise to the flow, which means the boundary conditions are set up correctly. You can see how it um, interacts with the flow of the wings. And again, um, you get a feel for. Um, speeds by looking at the colours. Um, yeah, and this process can be repeated for any other section. So, uh, as you, as I said earlier, you can just go to the mesh, um, create another plane, maybe along the centre line, any area of interest, and repeat um, these procedures that we've just been through.